Question number 10. Show that cos 3a is identical to 4 cos cube a minus 3 cos a. So we're going to use this formula at the top, cos a plus b, and we're going to use this double angle formula. So we want to write cos 3a as 2a plus a, cos 2a plus a is 3a, 2a plus a. And now using that, it becomes cos 2a cos a minus sine 2a sine a. Now we can change cos 2a into 2 cos squared a minus 1. And the cos a stays the same. We can change sine 2a to 2 sine a cos a. And the sine a at the end stays the same. So now we have two cos squared a minus one cos a minus two cos a sine squared a. Where did this sine squared come from? We multiply sine a times sine a. That gives us sine squared a. But we know sine squared a is one minus cos squared a. So we replace sine squared a with one minus cos squared a. And you can see a pattern. We don't want to have sine, we're replacing sine so you end up with an answer without sine. So sine squared A is one minus cos squared A, which is replaced there. That replaces sine squared A. So that's the equation now that you have. So two cos squared A times cos A, it gives you two cos cube A. Minus one times cos A, it gives you minus cos A. Minus two cos a times one gives you minus two cos a. And minus two cos a times minus cos squared a, the two and the one make three. So it gives you two cos cube a. Now we add two cos cube a plus two cos cube a. It gives you four. Two plus two gives you four cos cube a. Minus cos a minus two cos a is like minus one minus two be minus three cos a, quote, erat demonstratum, as required to show. Question 10b, hence solve between minus 90 and 180, the equation one minus cos three x equals to sine square x. So we want to replace, instead of cos three x, we replace it with this four cos cube a minus three cos a because we got that from part A and we're using this word hence. Use your answer from part A, that's what hence means. Replace cos three X with four cos cube A minus three cos A. So you will get one minus four cos cube X minus three cos X equals to sine squared X. But sine squared X is one minus cos squared. So we replace that sine squared with one minus cos squared. So one minus four cos cube X plus three cos X equals to one minus cos squared X. Now there's this one on the left and there's this one on the right. They can cancel each other. One minus one is zero. You left with minus four cos cube X plus three cos X. And you take the minus cos squared X to the left it becomes plus cos squared x. You can times by the minus one. So this minus becomes a plus, this plus becomes a minus, and this plus becomes a minus, equal to zero. Cos x is found in all three of them. So you take cos x out of the bucket, factorize. So you've got cos x there. And you'll be left with four cos squared x minus cos x minus three because x comes from there and the three comes from there equal to zero when you factorize this it's like factorizing four x squared minus x minus three so you can use your calculator to factorize that so when you factorize either x is equal to zero first one or when you factorize that you get x equals to minus four over three and x equals to one and that's how you put it in the calculator. Four goes there, 
minus one goes there, minus three goes there, you get your two answers. So cos x, we want the answers between minus 90 and 180. So cos x equals to zero, that means x is minus 90 or x is 90. Cos x equals to minus 0 0.75, an inverse cosine of minus 0 0.75 is 138.59. So x is 138.59. Cos x is equals to one, that means inverse cosine of one is zero. So all your four answers are minus 90, zero, 90, and 139. When you round 138.59, you get 139. And if you plot your graph of y equals to cos x, when x is 138.59, y is minus 0.7, you can see there. And you can use this for the view window to change the x and the y values. So that's your answer for question 10a. And that's your answer for question 10b.